Hello everyone, this is Irv Spanish and this is a quick video about creating vocabulary tests inside of Schoology. And what we're going to do is first use a Quizlet. And if you haven't used Quizlet before, it's fantastic. There's all kinds of different vocab lists. This one happens to be about Latin and Greek roots. And what we're going to do is basically use the Quizlet site, a created list here, um, and then be able to move it from Quizlet to a site called um, CSI Blackboard Quiz Generator. And then from there, we're going to move it into Schoology, and I'll show you how to make a test. This is by far the fastest way to go ahead and create vocabulary quizzes. And that's the reason why I'm putting this together. I figured I'd share you, uh, the secret with you guys. The first thing you need to do is you have a uh, vocab list here inside of Quizlet. And we're going to click these three uh, drop down arrows because we want to export this list. So I'm going to press export here. And you're going to go ahead and just click copy text here and copy all of your vocabulary words and the, the definitions to the words. And then you're going to go to this site, um, this Blackboard Quiz Generator, and I'm going to leave the link in the description of the video there. And Blackboard Quiz Generator basically creates a file that's readable inside of Schoology. Um, and you have to put your, the biggest clue here is that once you paste the vocabulary terms, you notice what I've done here. I've actually created a fill in the blank test. It's actually way faster than creating a um, multiple choice test in inside of Schoology. So fill in the blank, it basically becomes a multiple choice test, but I believe it's way better and I'll show you why in just a bit. But anyway, you've got to put it into this format. You'll notice what I've done here is before each uh, one of the vocab turns, terms, I put blank one or blank two put a period there, put a space, and then left the vocab term there, and then put an underscore there uh, for after the vocab word. And then I followed it by putting the letter A period and then put the definition there. At they The way that they actually appeared at the beginning, I'll just show you kind of the way that they went ahead and appeared. If I copied this, and then I'll just take it out, and I put it back into here, it looks just like this, just like the vocab list. And all I really did is go like this, blank one, period. And then after the vocab term, I put an underscore. And then I just hit enter to bring it down to the next line. And then I just put the letter A and then followed it with the definition, as you can see there. So all I've done for all 12 vocab terms is done that. And once I'm good and created this, it's created a... Um, fill in the blank test, but you don't want fill in the blank usually on Schoology because it's so easy to make mistakes. These long definitions, uh, your students are going to put in all kinds of interpretations of that. So I'm going to go ahead and press create quiz. And at the bottom, it should say your test seemed to have 12 questions, uh, whatever the number of questions that you went ahead and created in this format. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and then show you what it looks like in this next step. So now I'm actually in Google Docs, but you can use Word or any other types of words processing program. And what I've done is pasted this vocab list, this exact same one, and I pasted it into this document. What I want to do is have a bank of definitions that I'm going to use in Schoology um, so that it gives the students various options to go ahead and choose from. So I'm deleting the vocab definition and just leaving the, I'm sorry, the vocabulary word, but I'm leaving the definitions there. And I'm going to use this in just a bit. I'm going to pause here and go into Schoology. All right, now I'm in Schoology. I'm going to press Add Materials, and I'm going to create a test or quiz. And I'm just going to call it uh, Unit 6 Vocabulary Terms. And you can set your number of point values and all those different kinds of things that you want to do. But for right now, I'm just going to press Create Quiz. It's probably going to make me uh, create a category here. And then what I want to do is where it says add question, I'm just going to tell it, I actually want you to go ahead and import a test or quiz. It's going to import the test that was created over here with this CSI, I'm sorry, with the uh, Blackboard quiz generator. When I exported this package here, I went ahead and named it uh, unit six, I think. Let's go find it right now. It says import from what? And I'm just going to import from this Blackboard one here, and I'm going to press next. And then there's this weird little file uh, icon right here. I'm going to click that file icon. Mine just happens to be in the download section. you got to find it. 
I named it Unit 6 Vocab so I'd know which one I was talking about. And I'm just going to double click it and then press Import. So now I've actually imported all of the terms and the responses, the definitions too. I like to go through this now and then assign a point value to each one because Schoology by default, when you do this kind of thing, it gives each one a point value of one. So if that's what you're going to have a point value of, that's fantastic. So this is a fill in the blank test and the answer is a follower uh, for adherence is a follower of a person or an idea. But you want it to be more like a multiple choice test or I would imagine you would want it to be like that. So what we're going to do is click the word bank here and then go back to my word doc here and just select it all. I'm just copying it, control C, okay, copying it. And I'm coming back here and now I'm going to fill this in here. Now I don't want this first one here because that's the actual answer. So I'm going to take that out and then now I have filler words and so the student will see adherence and they'll see all of these definitions and they'll have to choose the correct one. So it basically becomes a multiple choice test. Now if I want each one to be word 10, I could go ahead and do that. So I can go ahead and do that now. Adherent is there. We can go ahead and have it. Um, just so you can see what it actually looks like, I'm going to press preview here and start the new attempt. And you'll see it says adherent. There's a blank space there and here are all my definitions that the students can choose from. And then once they're ready to go ahead and choose whichever one might be, then they choose it and they go ahead and click whichever one might be the actual definition. And you can do that for each one. I found that super useful for my Spanish class, also for English vocab definitions or whatever kind of definitions you give as far as in your class. You can create these tests much faster than going through the format of going to add question and multiple choice, for example, and then giving various options, especially if you want to make it a little bit more challenging. This has 12 different options uh, instead of just like an ABCD type of test. Bueno, if you like the video, give it a like. Adios. Hasta la vista.